Welcome back. In the next several videos, we will learn to build and manipulate some prototypical structure types. To begin, this video will briefly cover measurements, as well as how to manually change parameters such as distances, angles, and dihedrals, as well as atoms and bond types. Make sure you are back in your materials underscore intro project and your materials underscore intro working directory. For these steps, we will import a provided benzaldehyde molecule. Go to File, Import Structures. Navigate to where you downloaded the video series data and click on the benzaldehyde.mae file. Click Open. The benzaldehyde molecule is included in the workspace and selected in the entry list. To make measurements in the workspace, click on Measure in the Favorites toolbar. The banner should appear in your workspace. Here, you can decide what you would like to measure distance, angle, dihedral, or more. Each option will give you instructions for what to do next. Distance is the default. With distances picked from the dropdown, click on the red oxygen atom in the aldehyde functional group and its bound gray carbon atom. The distance appears on the bond. To measure an angle, change the dropdown to angles and pick any three atoms to measure the corresponding angle. Hover over either measurement label. Note that your cursor has a ruler icon next to it, indicating that the label is a measurement. To adjust the parameter, right-click on the number and choose Adjust to manually augment the parameter. Feel free to take a moment to explore these manipulations. Another way that you can perform measurements is by right-clicking on selected atoms or bonds to get to the workspace menus. For example, select any four atoms. Right click to bring up the workspace menu and click on Measure Dihedral. You can toggle on and off the measurements in the workspace through the measurements toggle that is present in the footer toolbar. Hovering over the measurements toggle, you can click on the three dots above the icon to open the measurements panel. Here you will find a summary of measurements that are available in the current workspace structure. Finally, let's mention two additional relevant tools. You can increase or decrease the bond order by right-clicking on any bond in the workspace and picking Increase or Decrease Bond Order. This is particularly useful for setting zero order date of bonds. Second, note that you can right-click on a single atom to change that atom to another element, set a charge, or change isotope, for example. In this video, we covered measurements and adjusting parameters. In the next video, We'll learn to use a 2D sketcher and 3D builder to start to prepare small molecule models. See you there!